Hello everyone, Miss Stora here. I thought you might like to join me in the garden to read the book Katie and the Starry Night by James Mayhew. Um, it says make art an adventure and this really is an adventure. Here Katie is going to go to the gallery with her grandma and while there she's going to find a lot of paintings by the famous artist Vincent van Gogh and there she has this fantastic adventure with all of the paintings so I hope you're going to join me and we'll look through this together Katie and Grandma love to go on trips together sometimes for a treat Grandma took Katie to the art gallery. As you can see, there's the art gallery. There's Grandma with Katie. And they're going to see the Vincent van Gogh exhibition. One day they went to see some paintings by Vincent van Gogh. Katie's favourite was called The Starry Night. It looks magical, she said, like a dream. Talking of dreams, said Grandma, I could do with a nap. Katie looked more closely at the picture. The stars seemed to be moving. Grandma was almost asleep. So Katie quietly climbed through the picture frame and into the painting. So there is the painting Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. Dazzling stars sparkled and swirled. They looked close enough to touch, so Katie reached out and grasped one. I must show Grandma, she said, putting the star safely in her pocket. Here's another painting by Vincent van Gogh, and there's the star that Katie is taking. Jumping back into the art gallery, Katie saw some other stars twirling after her. Perhaps they want to play, she laughed, jumping up to catch them. But she couldn't quite reach. Katie quickly dragged the chair out of the picture and more and more stars tumbled into the gallery. Here she is on the chair. But even standing on the chair, Katie couldn't reach all the stars and some floated into another picture called Noon. She decided to chase after them and so climbed through the frame. A young couple were napping in the shade on a hot summer day. The stars tumbled into the sky and night soon fell upon the countryside. Here they are, the young people sleeping there and here's Katie. The woman, whose name was Marie, woke up. Oh, look at all the stars, she said. Surely they don't belong in this painting. Er, uh, no, said Katie. Would you help me catch them? Climbing up the haystack, Katie and Marie had a wonderful time, jumping to catch the stars and landing on the soft hay. But when they jumped back into the gallery, the spinning stars slipped through their fingers once again. We must get them back into the painting before the gallery guard sees they're missing, said Marie. But even Marie wasn't tall enough to catch them. Look, there's a ladder, said Katie, spotting a picture called the Olive Grove and quickly clambered through the frame. Women were gathering olives from a tree. There they are, look, taking the olives that are growing. Please can I borrow your ladder, ladder said Katie. I have to catch some stars. The ladies laughed. Ma chérie, you cannot catch stars. You can with a ladder, said Katie. Come and help me. They all raced back into the gallery and the olive pickers held the ladder steady as Katie climbed up to catch the twirling stars. 
It was tricky work because the stars wouldn't keep still. The more Katie tried to catch them, the more they spun away. The stars were drifting towards another painting called Fishing Boats on the Beach. Come on, we must catch them, said Marie. They all climbed inside. In the picture, the stars were caught on a breeze and twirled out to sea. How will we reach them now? asked Marie. Let's take a boat, said Katie. Oh yes, a boat ride, said the olive pickers, giggling. They sailed across the sea as the stars sparkled in the sky. Oh, what shall we do? worried Marie. The stars are so high. Katie saw a big fishing net in the boat. Let's try this, she said. And they threw the net as high as they could and caught the stars. At last, said Katie, as everyone cheered. Back in the gallery, they all quickly ran to the starry night picture. Now we can put the stars back before the guard finds out, said Katie. They threw the stars into the sky, but it didn't quite look right. What's that in your pocket, Katie? asked Marie. My star, said Katie. I wanted to show it to Grandma. But it might float away again, said Marie. Put it in the starry night and then you can see it whenever you want. So Katie threw the star up into the painting. Thank you everyone, said Katie. We did it. And now we must return to our pictures too, said Marie. Au revoir, ma chérie. Goodbye, said Katie. Katie put the chair back where it belonged, just in time as the gallery guard came past. Whew, said Katie. Hello. Good afternoon, he said. And then Grandma woke up. Oh, I must have nodded off, she said. I had a lovely dream all about stars. Katie giggled. That night, Katie and Grandma looked out of the window. It was a beautiful starry night. The stars look almost alive, said Grandma. Perhaps they are, laughed Katie. Grandma smiled. Perhaps, she said. Good night, Katie. Here in my sketchbook, I've done a drawing of Katie. And here, there is Starry Night. And I'm going to draw it here on the opposite page in my sketchbook. Perhaps you could do this too. So here I am, starting my sketch of Starry Night. I'm drawing out the cypress tree, the big, tall, green tree, in the foreground, trying to make sure that I get the right shape. Lightly sketch out in case you need to erase. Add a little bit of detail. And now focus on the swirling motion of the sky. Lightly sketch that in again. This will help to create the movement that exists in Vincent van Gogh's painting. Adding in the moon.
the stars, obviously Katie, that's what she caught, the stars, so don't forget those. This is a band of yellow. And now on to the church. The buildings are the most difficult part of this picture. But remember, we're just trying to create a likeness. You may not get this perfect, but we will all be able to work out that this is Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night. Here we go, finally the stars. We've all been waiting for these. Now, you could leave this as a pencil drawing or you could add colour. I'm going to add colour and I will show you this once I've finished. Now the buildings, the part that takes the, the longest. You may wish to just draw your own feelings about stars or your own imaginative landscape with stars in it. However you would like to respond to this work is great. So have a go and see what you achieve, enjoy what you do and have fun. So here is my drawing, I've just outlined it in black. And I've written the name of the book as well and the artist, just so I remember. I hope that you enjoy this. Have a go. Here is my own painting in my sketchbook. It is a copy of The Starry Night. And here I'll be able to remember the story of Katie and her experience in the gallery.